Hey, this is John Bolger with Premier Guitar. Uh, a little while ago, in my column last call, I wrote a column called The, um, the Tone Quest Never Ends. And it's really about my amp. So this is a 64 vibroverb. And when I was a little kid in uh, Billings, Montana, I really wanted like a proper amp. I had some tiny like five watt solid state thing that was terrible. And my father said, well, um, if you just play better, uh, people will listen. You don't really need to be louder. You just need to play better. <laughs> but eventually, for Christmas, I talked them into it. And so they went down to Hanson Music and bought, uh, bought a 64 vibroverb for, I think it was like $100. Um, granted, this was a while ago. Um, and it was my, and I just loved it with everything in me. I would like, sit in my bedroom with it turned backwards and just look at the glowing tubes and play and really learn like how to play with this amp. And then um, when I was in my 20s, uh, I was broke and playing in a band with my then wife, Sherry, if you're watching, mwah, and she needed a bass amp. So I traded my, I traded the vibroverb for a PV solid state bass amp, which was so stupid. But at the time, the amp was old and grouchy and didn't really work, and I was broke, and I just needed a bass amp for her. So years went by, and uh, I finally had a little dough, and I thought, I'm going to buy one. What, you know, why not? So I found one on, um, online and, and bought it and spent, of course, way too much for it. And I got it. And it didn't sound right to me, you know? Um, because it's really my, and I don't know if I just remembered it being better than it was or if what, whatever. So I, I went and I, I put in these Waython audio tubes, um, or these cryonic tubes, to try and, you know, kind of bring it up to life. And after I changed it, it was way more alive and everything. But I'm, I was then hearing all this high end and it, it originally had this Jensen 15 inch speaker that had a, a aluminum uh, voice coil cone, I think, um, which was harsh sounding to me. Um, so I ended up trading out, put in a Weber um, 15, I don't know what I chose, it's one of, the, one of the Weber mellower sounding speakers. And now it's just fabulous. But it, it's funny how, you know, you get, I, you know, I'm, it was such a, such a journey, you know, getting back to what I remembered that sound from my youth being. And I think this is pretty close. Only, you know, when I was a kid, my, when my parents bought this thing, when I was a kid, it was like 1982. Um, so it was an old amp, but not a super old amp at the time. Now it's a really old amp. And you know, if you listen to like the reverb, I'm only on three right now, but on verb, but those springs are so old, they're just fluttering, you know? And, it, and when you get out way up there, it's just crazy. That's on four, you know, just so wet. check out the column it's a it's I think it, it kind of represents all of our tone quests and the crazy paths we take trying to obtain unobtainium so <laughs> so thanks for watching check it out